Welcome everyone to another episode on The Gadget Doctor. My name is Martin and I will be your host and guide on this week's topic. While we're waiting for the eggs to hatch, I'm going to show you my 10 gallon grow out tank. The specific gravity of the salt in the water is the same as the tank. Now once the fish are introduced into here, they will eat all the rotifers that I've been culturing, that I've shown you how to do in a previous video. If you look close, hopefully it'll focus. There's a bunch of them in there. It's about 120 milliliters that I've collected so far. And my rotifer count was 15 per milliliter. I've got a sponge in here from my sump that's been in there since it's been running. So there's plenty of beneficial bacteria and other zooplankton. We've got our sponge filter that is dialed down um, so it's not going to create too much flow in the tank, just enough to where it will clean your water. Now when it comes to water parameters, the specific gravity, the tank temperature and everything else is the same as the display tank. And what you will do on a daily basis is switch out one gallon of your water from here with the display tank. That way any ammonia buildup that you get within this tank you can lower by switching it out with your aquarium. But other than that, it's fairly simple. Three sides of the tank are painted black. I've got the uh, stock hood that's, it's a cheap old Walmart tank that came with it. But I've actually taken an LED light, covered up the majority of the LEDs, to where I've only got one LED shining through, which is plenty enough light because you don't want your clownfish to have too much light, otherwise they can get scared to death. You'll want to leave an area that they can go to to where it's completely dark. And since my five gallon is still culturing, I've got my one, one gallon of rotifers right next to it. Just fed them. You can see the water's a little green. I've got my sieve. This is pretty much all you need to start raising fry. There's lots and lots of information online on how to breed any kind of fish. Seahorses, inverts, just do your research and look on forums, read through everybody else's post. Um, I'm going by what somebody else has done when it comes to switching out the water for the display tank. That's worked for them. So let's go back to waiting for some clownfish. Welcome everyone to day eight of my clownfish eggs. Today is the day that they are supposed to hatch within an hour to two hours after lights out. Lights out just happened, so we're going to go ahead and see what they're doing and kind of show you how I am set up to capture the fry. Now, fry they are attracted to a light source. Now, because I run AI Primes and I have the moon phase going, and we are close to being in the full moon phase I believe um, so I'm on my max intensity of 4% and I turn it down to 3 
But in order to capture the fry, you'll want another light source. Oh, I've got a flashlight set up. Up in the corner. Oh, I'm not sure you can see all of that. But that's all zooplankton. And pods. Climbing on the glass. There we go. So hopefully with any luck, we'll be able to capture the first fry coming out of the egg and swimming up towards the light. If not, stay tuned and I'll start recording as they start coming out. And we have our first clownfish baby. Well, it's day 14 after hatching. And I've had two that have survived. Oh. Hopefully the other one will come into view. But he's around here somewhere. He's hiding in the dark. But yeah, these two are doing well. Out of the 200 that were laid, 14 survived and hatched. And after the 14 were put into this tank, only two have made it. And everything you see floating around are rotifers. They're live food. Three gallon daily water changes are made with the display tank. That way it'll break down the ammonia. And once these are fully grown, I'll just stick these two into my display tank. <laughs> 